Hey guys, and welcome to the Travel Panda YouTube channel. So this is going to be our first video where I'll actually be talking. You won't see much of my face, but this video is going to be, as you guessed it, a gear video. So, you know, we talk a lot about gear and photography because it's something that I absolutely love doing. And also, I've kind of gotten to uh, video now. And it's pretty addicting, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. And as you can tell from the background, over here, I have the iMac, late 2013 iMac. Um, now, the 27 inch here is fantastic. It's been my workhorse for a very long time. Um, well, ever since I got it, obviously. But I'm finding now that, you know, having to add a second 4K monitor like this Samsung, E590, 20, 28 inch E590 is not very conducive to uh, well editing because the uh, GPU, the video card on the late 2013 iMac here really can't uh, support 4K that, uh, that well. And so what we found was when we started doing editing of the uh, DJI Mavic uh, footage, um, it was painful, very, very painful. So. We had to do an upgrade anyways. We had a very old, uh, what was it? When did we buy it? Five years ago. It's a five year old MacBook Pro. It was the original MacBook Pro. It was a base model. It wasn't a Retina or anything of that sort. It's been fantastic. Still works. The hard drive died, so I replaced it with a uh, two and a half inch uh, Samsung uh, SSD. It works wonderful still, so it's a great uh, little laptop just to use to watch, you know, Netflix or whatever. But the resolution on it, I think, taps out at about. Uh, 768 so nothing um, fantastic so we kind of really needed something new and after doing a lot of research this is what we came up with yep that's this is Adele so we actually decided to stay away well I should say I decided to uh, stay away from the Mac um, I couldn't justify the Mac's price I don't know about you guys but I looked at a Mac here in Canada and the base model with mediocre at best performance um, and mediocre should I say hardware not so much performance uh, you know it starts at three thousand dollars Canadian to me that's really really expensive for a laptop um, not to say I wouldn't spend the money I just found it to be very expensive for what I was getting the sleek look the, uh, the you know the the iOS is phenomenal but I just couldn't justify spending that kind of money for something that if it broke ever then I would never be able to fix it ever it's just not repairable. It's not even upgradable, as a matter of fact. And uh, we'll talk about a little bit uh, why I chose this Dell. But ordered it, came in very, very quickly. The unfortunate part about that is that uh, the buying process, on the other hand, was not so friendly with Dell. But we'll do a uh, quick unboxing video here for you. And uh, you know, after I'm done this, we'll talk about a little bit of why I decided to go with this particular machine. So, trusted knife. And if you guys can see here, I'll just crack this open carefully. Now this is one with a, a tab here. Let's this up before I cut myself. No. All right. Okay. Yeah. No. All right. I uh, guess not. Yeah. Okay, there it is. Cracked it open. Woo! Ooh. You see that? Look at that. Fancy poncy box. All right. Nothing else in here. Let's throw it away. All right, let's take out the foam. And here we go. There it is. Whoa. It's uh, slimmer than I thought it was gonna be. But then again, I haven't had a uh, PC laptop for years. So this will definitely be a change. Now, if you guys are curious, I also run a Dell 4 work that work provides for me. And uh, it's uh, very thin, 13 inch, just basic uh, workhorse. Um, I, I do enjoy it. So this is going to be something completely different. Uh, let's talk about the specs a little bit here. So 
this and open it first. Oh, why is it not opening? So, as you guys can tell, I don't know how to open it very well. <laughs> All right, we'll put this uh, back here, represent the Dell brand, and voila. Here, up close look. Beautiful, wow. Stunning looking laptop from the top. I've never seen one in real life, uh, just so you know. And uh, I'm all about wow. As far as weight goes, pretty similar to my current um, 13 inch MacBook Pro. I think it's actually almost the same weight. I can't remember the specs. I'll, I'll take a look at it for you guys. Um, am I missing something? Do you get? Do, do, do you guys see a? <laughs> so yeah, awesome laptop. But I don't have a power supply. What? What in the actual fuck? Are you kidding me? Oh okay, excuse me for a second. Oh no. Never mind. <laughs> Too excited. The power supplies right here. Okay, here's a better angle for it. So first impressions, I mean, like I said, it it's uh, it's stunning. It's uh, it's a very very beautiful laptop. I'll do some close up close up shots of it in a little bit. Take this plastic right off if anything. We just put it here, but wow, there it is. Absolutely stunning. I mean, this to me is very much on par with the new MacBook Pros. Um, I think it's a great looking laptop. We'll put this in the ground. We'll put the box on here, just put, put something there. All right, so first impressions, great weight to it. Uh, looks absolutely stunning. Size, fairly small, fairly thin, right? I mean, let's uh, focus in here. There we go. So I really like that. The back of it is really nice. And if you can tell here, you know, you'll see the screws. I won't open it yet for you guys, uh, but this is a fully upgradable. Now let's talk about specs a little bit. So this is a brand new X Dell XPS uh, 15, uh, the 9560. It is the 4K resolution uh, version that I got. So I spent a ton more money on the 4K version. Now I'll explain to you why in a little bit. But uh, this guy's got the brand new uh, KB Lake uh, Intel chips uh, CPU. It's a um, 7700 uh, chipset. Uh, big, big difference compared to last year. Well, big difference um, is going to be the uh, NVIDIA 1050, uh, NVIDIA GTX 1050 uh, video card GPU in here, which is combined with the Intel 7700 KB Lake. It's going to allow me to have better um editing power and uh, you know I, I'm not a gamer um, I'll play you know the odd games here and there but I don't think I'll be playing games on this very often uh, so that's the two specs it comes with 16 gigs of RAM upgradable to 32 gigs comes with two sticks on the inside again I'll uh, I'll open it for you guys uh, when I get the chance here um, and also uh, this comes with I chose the 512 gig SSD, which is a uh, NVMe uh, M2 uh, uh, drive, and it's supposed to be very, very fast. So we'll run tests and show you guys on the screen uh, what kind of tests we get, uh, test results we get out of it. Another reason why I pick and chose, uh, pick this guy uh, over a Mac is outputs and inputs. Uh, you know, everybody's number one complaint is like, you know, Mac has only got that USB type C plug and there's only one of them in here. Here, uh, you will be able to see that you have your uh, your power, you have your USB uh, 3.0, uh, HDMI input. So to me, that's very important. So if I wanna watch 
uh, something that I have a content or even show off uh, a presentation from here, I can just plug in my HDMI in here, which to me is fantastic. A USB type C uh, connection here, which is again, very, very quick. Uh, and Dell actually showcases that you can charge your laptop using an external battery pack. So if you've got anything, anything like a 15 or 18,000 or even 20,000 milliamp battery, external battery, you can actually plug it in here and charge it without having to require to use the um, the, the, the charging, the, the power bar. So the nice thing about that is if you're traveling, to me personally, I wanna keep the minimum amount of weight in my backpack. And when I do that, that means I can just replace the, um, you know, the, the power uh, that comes with this and use the uh, external power that I've got. So I'm planning to get a 20,000 milliamp uh, battery and that should be more than sufficient to charge this guy. And then of course you got microphone, uh, sorry, head, uh, headphone jacks out here, which I won't need because I use Bose QC35s I run on Bluetooth. Uh, in here I have the SD slot and I've got another uh, USB input and in here, woo! It came, it came fully charged, look at that. And this is a battery indicator, as you can tell. And of course, the locking uh, insert here. Don't know what it's called, but you get what I mean. Uh, so as you can tell, there is quite a bit of input. And the biggest reason why I went with the Dell, is, one of the biggest reasons is obviously these inputs, but having a memory card slot is super, super, super useful. Now, people will be like, oh, you know, you can add on a memory card reader and all that bullshit. To me, the less crap I carry, the less crap I think I can or probably will lose over time, the better it is. So if I'm out in Hawaii or Maui, which is one of our favorite places to go, which by the way, we're going back in on May 26, you know, after I'm a day of shooting uh, with my drone, I can come in or even with my camera, I can just put in the memory card here and I'm good to go versus having to put in a plug, uh, you know, plug in a adapter, all that kind of crap, and that probably bottlenecks things too. So that's it when it comes to input. Let's take a look on the out, uh, inside. Am I, do I even have the right side? Yeah, I have the right side. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't even know how to open one of these. Look at that. So, woo. All right, so, if you guys can see this, this is amazing. Uh, this is what we call the Infinity Edge and you can only get it um, from Dell. It is amazing. The bezel on here is astonishingly slim. Uh, look at it, just for comparison sizes. Let me see if I can get a pen or pencil. Just very, very small bezel. Um, and that's just, wow, what a screen. What a screen, it looks phenomenal. Uh, this is carbon fiber, so I'm gonna zoom in here or zoom in as in like I'm gonna bring it in closer. If you see if you can see this carbon fiber, the light, you should be able to. There you go. And the the texture on it's kind of a, a rubbery texture-ish uh, texture, I guess. <laughs> um, I, I like it. I, I personally don't mind it at all. And from what I've heard from the uh, previous XPS uh, 15s, this is a very very um, tough and very durable texture on the laptop itself. So that's pretty cool. Now you probably notice over here when I brought it up, uh, this little square right over here. There you go. Right where my thumb is, ironically enough. That is your fingerprint, um, you know, login, whatever. Yeah, I'm so technical, right? But uh, this is great for what they call Windows Hello. I've never tried it in the past. I don't even know what the hell it is but I'm looking forward to it. So um, I'm, I'm guessing I'm gonna use my, I don't know, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. The keyboard, oh, this is, I mean, different. This is a different type of typing sensation versus my Macs. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, one of my uh, buddies, Mark, asked me, why did you pick this laptop overall? So I've covered, you know, the inputs uh, on it. The other aspect is I co covered the specs, but what I didn't actually get to talk about, which is probably the reason why this thing is so bloody expensive, 
is the 4K screen itself. Now, 4K screen is great. Don't get me wrong. I would have picked 1080 as well. But why I picked the 4K screen is this is actually a touch screen. Now, I'm not going to touch it because I'm going to put fingerprints on it and it's going to annoy the shit out of me. But it is also 100% Adobe RGB color accurate. So what does that mean for a photographer like myself or even now that I do video, what does it mean? Pretty simple. If I want to edit images and take these images from here, put on a you know SD card or whatever it is, uh, a media, and then go to a big print. So usually I like to print 24 by 36, if not larger, and that's in inches, by the way. Um, my colors are going to be 100% matching what that printer is going to come out because most printers, especially in high-end, uh, you know, print shops, they're calibrated to 100% Adobe RGB color range, which means my reds are going to be my reds. It's not going to look pink when it comes out. It's not going to look, you know, faded red. It's not going to look like um, fleece red. It's it's going to be the red that I chose it to be. Same thing with the greens. It's not going to be. You know, if I chose grass green, just as an example, it's gonna come out green like that, not pew green, not dark green, not like hobgoblin green, not like whatever color green you wanna call it. And those subtle, I don't know, color uh, changes will make a huge difference when you print large. Now, the other aspect to that is if you're doing color calibration, um, you know, on your, you know, if you're doing color correction, not calibration, I'm sorry, uh, on your other video or on your uh, image that you're editing, you know that it's going to be 100% exactly the way it's supposed to look. That's to me, uh, that to me is very, very important. There's nothing else more important than colors for me. Uh, of course, the bonus of having this guy is now that I can actually edit um, alongside my, you know, my 4K monitor right here. Uh, this is the, uh, like I said, the Samsung 28 E590 something, uh, whatever. I'm not too keen on the, the names, but um, now I can actually plug this bad boy in when I come home. I can use it on, on this guy and then I can also have it on this guy or I can use all three in conjunction somehow, whatever. Uh, so that's really, really, really cool. And this guy right here, this Dell XPS 15 can actually run two Yep, count them two 4K monitors alongside it, which is to me a really cool thing because, you know, for guys who just want to depend on just having a laptop, if you're like a, a huge travel, you know, blogger, videographer, whatever, um, you might not have a complete workstation at home. But when you come home, you can just plug in your laptop, do your workflow from here, and then look at your 2K monitors. And to me, that's that's massive flexibility, right? Now, is a GTX uh, 1050 a really kick-ass video card? I mean, it, for a laptop, I think it's more than sufficient. I mean, uh, to me, I, I think it's more than enough for what you need. And truthfully, do you really need a 1080? Not exactly. Unless you game, then yeah, you can go for a 1080. Then you can go into like the Razer. Uh, the new Razer is, is so cool, but it's also 17 inches, right? It's got a 1080 built in. It's the only laptop that's got a 1080 GPU built in, which is ridiculous. So anyways, that's it for the unboxing. I know I talked a lot. I'm sorry if I inundated with you guys with information. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, click on like. And if you loved it, sub. And uh, we'll cover some more. So next up is I'm going to open up this bad boy. I'm going to show you the internals of it uh, in the next video when I get a chance to uh, play with it and set it up and uh, give you some of my uh, afterthoughts after uh, opening this, uh, this, this new laptop. So in the meantime, see ya. Love you guys. Peace.